don't just place the child in the center of the frame right there. Maybe throw them off, off the side a little bit. It's that smile, it's the tooth they just lost. It's really, that's what it's about. And maybe it's their hands and they're you know, decorating or they're drawing or they're doing some kind of creation. Start to think about composition. Look at paintings, look at illustration, look at other photography. I find if I feed myself lots of illustrations and paintings, I wake up the next morning and I have a kind of a fresh view and it kind of comes out in my work and it's very fun to see that happen. Behold, earmuffs. But where did they come from? Meet Chester Greenwood, born in Farmingham, Maine in 1858. Growing up in Maine, 15-year-old Chester was accustomed to freezing winters, but he also had large ears that didn't handle the cold very well, especially when he was ice skating. Sensitive to wool, he didn't want to wrap his head in a scarf like everyone else did, so he decided a little innovation was in order. At home, Chester molded wire into ear-shaped loops and convinced his grandmother to sew soft muffs made of beaver fur and velvet over them. He then affixed the wire loop to the ear protectors and headed back out into the cold. The earmuffs were a great improvement, but they still flapped around a lot. Chester took a second stab at it, substituting a flexible steel band for the wire. Soon other kids and even adults were clamoring for a pair of their own. In 1877, at the tender age of 18, Chester acquired a patent for his earmuffs, which he dubbed Greenwood Champion Ear Protectors. He started producing them locally, and over the years they grew in popularity. In 1936, his factory hit peak production, producing 400,000 earmuffs. When he died in 1937, he had attained celebrity status in his home state. In 1977, the governor of Maine declared the first Saturday of every December Chester Greenwood Day. So how genius was this inventor? On the American Dream scale, he gets a five. Chester became a successful inventor without formal schooling or years of experience. He secured more than 100 patents in his lifetime, and he has his own state holiday. What's more American dreamy than that? On the benefit to humanity scale, he gets a three. Earmuffs aren't a life-saving invention, but they do help people brave the cold and get more enjoyment out of the winter season. On the ripple effect scale, he gets a three. Chester's ear protectors have inspired some refinements in design, from bandless earmuffs to versions with audio headphones built in, and they're still worn in cold climates all around the world. Let us know what you think. Email genius at HowStuffWorks.com. Also, be sure to check out our other HowStuffWorks podcasts on iTunes.